Hello, and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about variable names in Python and how, as of Python 3, you can use Unicode characters in your variable names. Um, this has some interesting effects, which I'll, <laughs> I'll show you a very surprising snippet of code, uh, but also can be kind of cool. So anyway, let's jump into it. Okay, so this is new in Python 3, so we've got to make sure that we run Python 3. Um, and normally you can, you know, assign variable names that are ASCII, you know, normally typed on the keyboard, uh, or you can grab other symbols. So if we do like pi, I think I can just Google pi, right? <laughs> and then copy it from somewhere. Yeah, here we go. Um, so you can assign pi equals 3.1415, line two, six, five, et cetera, et cetera. You can keep going. Um, and it acts just like a normal variable. So you can, you know, <laughs> Spice spice up your uh your your variables here. I wonder if we can do the snowman. There are some characters that aren't allowed. Uh two six zero three is our snowman. Can we assign the snowman to a value? Well, snowman. Ah. <laughs> okay. So there are some characters which are not allowed. Um, I don't remember the exact. Uh, let's see. Python Unicode variable names. I forget what the um what the uh, requirement is. Now, generally, uh, these are discouraged, but, um, oh, this is outdated. Uh, PEV3131, here we go. Non-ASCII identifiers. So this is this was added in Python 3.0. Uh, tell us what they are. XID start, XID continue, so whatever characters follow into fall into that uh, realm. Now, there are some interesting characters that <laughs> can cause code to be pretty unreadable. So I, I generally discourage using non-ASCII variable names in Python because one, they're hard to type, and two, you can do some pretty obscure stuff with them. So if we do Greek capital alpha, for example, you grab this character here, you can have this confusing bit of code where you say a equals four, a equals five, and then you print a. <laughs> And it's four. What happened here? <laughs> so it's it's very very subtle. Uh, and if you do import Unicode data, Unicode data dot name. So this is just the typed A on the on the keyboard, Latin capital letter A. And if we get this character here, Unicode data dot name that character, you'll see that it is Greek capital letter alpha. And if we zoom in. They look identical, <laughs> so uh, this this can be abused to make some pretty uh, obscure code. Um, but anyway, this is a neat neat little party trick that I've I've shown a few times on stream. Uh, but anyway, hopefully this was interesting. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. Uh, but thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.